hello everybody welcome back to another video by the social did you may be wondering why the sound doesn't sound so good today and also why i am laying down with no makeup on i am going to be making this video about chronic fatigue syndrome is also known as me me stands for myalgic encephalomyelitis The most extreme symptom that uh, most of you will know about is extreme tiredness, but there's a lot more to it than that. We've had a lot of people ask in the past, like, can you please make a video on what chronic fatigue is like to live with? And most of our channel is about mental health disorders. This is a physical disorder. So I got up this morning and I was like, Great, okay, I'm gonna film, I'm gonna film video, it's gonna be about DID, PTSD, and the holiday season, because it's December right now. So I was like, awesome, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna put my makeup on and stuff like that. Felt fine, got up, came downstairs, Kyle switched out for a bit, for those of you who aren't familiar with our channel. We have Dissociative Identity Disorder, which was formerly known as Multiple Personality Disorder, Kyle is one of my alters who helps me deal with daily life and stresses. After he switched out, he was totally fine. I came back into the body and now I'm hit with the need to sleep right now. It's really hard to keep a train of thought. Moving is difficult, talking is difficult, thinking is difficult. CFS is a, a, a long-term chronic illness. We made a video on it with Jessica Kelgren Fotsard. Um, that video is on her channel, but we also did a video about invisible illnesses on our channel if you'd like to, to know about her experiences with it, but this is going to be about what this is like for me and my experiences. Um, I'm sorry that this might not be very um, articulate, but I felt it's important just as much as it's important for me to make the very scientifically accurate educational sit down videos where I talk to you and educate you about things in a, a professional manner is also important to see the raw side of things and how this affects people, how disorders affect people in a way that isn't just like reading from a textbook, you know. You can only learn so much if I were to tell you here these are the symptoms but sometimes it hits in a completely different way when you're seeing the physical effects on somebody's body and how that can disrupt someone's life that's why i'm making this video as raw as this is we've experienced like the beginnings of flashbacks or got triggered in live streams and stuff before and decided to keep them up for the same reason and a lot of people have thanked us for that <sighs> It's hard to move. <laughs> I feel like I haven't slept in weeks, but I just woke up like an hour or two ago. I had a full night's sleep, very restful, and there is no reason right now for my body to be this exhausted. I can barely move my legs. It feels like the the energy, the strength has been sucked out of like the insides of my bones like the bone marrow or something it's very hard to move especially from the hips down i can move my arms and my torso around but it's difficult it's not too bad right now i can speak but like if i needed to get up and do something i don't think i'd be able to walk right now i could potentially drag myself around it's not unusual for me to have to drag myself up the stairs 
or kind of crawl or slide occasionally cfs can hit really suddenly sometimes it's just like a constant thing for a few weeks a few months a few days of just constant exhaustion complete exhaustion like you've been traveling for like two days straight and you haven't eaten and you haven't slept it that's that's what it feels like you just run a marathon everything is just heavy so heavy that sometimes it can hit suddenly and it'll be fine one minute and literally like asleep or, or falling like like unable to hold yourself up i have to sit down like on the floor wherever i land or lay down and sleep on the floor like it's not unusual for especially when my partner's system is here with me the, the person i'm dating if i lay down on the floor it could be maybe half a minute later i just need to sleep and they will cover me up with a blanket and put a pillow under my head just leave me where i am because i just can't move and it can come out of nowhere i might be cooking one minute and then unable to finish i just need to turn the hob off make sure everything's safe if i can and then just rest get somewhere soft get to a sofa get to the nearest piece of carpet or a rug and just lie because i can't hold my own weight cfs can affect anybody it's more common in women a lot of people develop it in their 20s and 40s i developed it in my late teens i'm 23 now the main symptoms are obviously extreme fatigue um feeling extremely tired and also feeling unwell nauseous a lot in fact i almost constantly experience nausea ironically cfs or me can also give you sleep problems so insomnia so ironic <laughs> um joint and muscle pains headaches and other sore glands that aren't swollen like there's nothing physically wrong uh but extreme like soreness sorry um excuse me it's getting heavier now problems in thinking or remembering or concentrating obviously like when you're very tired it's hard to like i wanted to move my heart uh, my arm and do like the quote sign but i can't lift my arm i can't remember what <laughs> ironic since i'm on the subject but i can't remember what i was gonna say um I'm also probably going to leave this relatively unedited <laughs> to just show you what it's like. Heart palpitations are a thing as well, like a really fast or a regular heartbeat. Um, Flu-like symptoms. Feeling really dizzy or sick, like I feel dizzy a lot. These symptoms can vary from day to day. I'm so sorry. From day to day or even within the day, like I said, it can come on really sudden or it can be kind of like a constant. Constant. Uh, experience. I've had a lot of people tell me in the past, like, you just have a weak body. You need to get stronger. You need to exercise more. Sometimes exercising helps, but a lot of the time it just makes it worse. I remember, like, my partner does a lot of push-ups and stuff, like, every day, multiple times a day, they exercise and squat and do stuff like that. And I was like, well, I want to try and do a push-up. And I tried to do, it was just one push-up. Or maybe it was a few push-ups, I can't remember. It was a couple of push-ups, and then I literally couldn't move afterwards. Like, I felt fine before that, and then I just 
laid where I was and had to sleep and then was kind of out for the rest of the day um, so sometimes exercise can make um, symptoms exasperated make them worse it's really important not to self-diagnose yourself based on these kind of symptoms though because CFS ME shares a lot of symptoms with other illnesses so it can be really easy to misdiagnose so if you are worried that um, you might be experiencing um, chronic fatigue syndrome <sighs> sorry myelogic encephalomyelitis then please go see your gp go and see your general practitioner general practitioner or your doctor the thing is about this disorder is that the cause isn't known yet there's a lot of research going on so people think it's something to do with the blood the cause is still unknown so there's no like quote unquote cure the way to treat it is like medicine to help nausea. Um, uh, there's like a, a GET thing, which is like a, um, like a structured exercise program, graded exercise therapy or something like that. And um, CBT, some people do that too. Uh, CBT is cognitive behavioral therapy. It's really helpful for a lot of um, mental illnesses even though cbt isn't mental i'm sorry i'm yawning a lot because i'm trying to fight this really hard and my body's going stop we need to sleep you're not getting enough oxygen you need to wake up um or you need to rest but i really try to get this video done it probably seems excessive but that's <laughs> that's why a lot of people with cfs get better over time especially if if you get it young you're more likely to make a full recovery some people never get better some people it declines throughout their life so um sometimes if you see um like on instagram or something like that or if you see me in public and i'm using a, a cane because i'm having a hard time walking um, there has been occasions where like, I've been walking around town, CFS has hit me really hard and the people I'm with had to pretty much carry me to a place where I can either sit and rest or to a car or call a taxi to get me home. While I may not need them all the time, if you need walking aids or, or aids to help you live your life easier, most people who use wheelchairs for example don't need them all the time like 80 percent just because you might see me walking around fine one day doesn't mean that i don't need a a walking stick the next day or even to be honest in some circumstances i probably need a wheelchair but i don't have one <sighs> well we don't know the cause for cfs me some of the suggested theories are, and, and also some triggers that can make things worse, are things like glandular fever, so viral infections or uh, like bacterial infections like pneumonia and stuff like that. Um, immune system problems, hormone imbalances, mental health problems like emotional trauma, um, physical trauma, stress, and um, as somebody with dissociative identity disorder, it's um it's a neurodevelopmental dissociative disorder that stems from extreme and repeated childhood trauma so it's like a very extreme form of ptsd that uh, only develops in childhood if you'd like to learn more about that that's what this channel is about please have a look at some of our videos if you'd like to learn about that but a lot of people who experience um trauma in childhood um then do go on to develop physical chronic illnesses and stuff like that because of the stress on the the body and and the brain the mind um and the emotional impact everything is connected your brain controls everything in your body so 
so um yeah it's not unusual for um, people with did for example to have i mean it might be hereditary um uh, well maybe not necessarily hereditary but something to do with genes like if it's more common in your family you're probably more likely to get it yourself it's, it's it's more common in some families than others cfs can have a really big impact on your mental health too Is the door locked? Sorry, it took me a bit to be able to get off the sofa. I didn't mean to interrupt your phone. No, you're fine. As educational as I can. I've just been like yawning for like 20 minutes on camera, basically. I'm too tired to really go into anything else. If this interests you, if you'd like to learn more about CFS or Emmy, then please do let me know, leave a comment and let me know what you think of these more raw educational videos, whether it's helpful for you or whether you'd prefer me to um, just wait until I can do like a really sit down, full makeup, nice background, high quality microphone video, or whether seeing an insight like this is is more helpful for you. Let me know what you think and um, I hope you stay on the channel to learn more. Lots of love everybody. Bye. Rev, can you click the stop button? Thanks. Love you.